So this video is to talk about the basic differences between using Angular UI Router and the built-in original ng route. So the first versions of Angular had ng route built into them. Then very shortly after they had released it, they separated ng route to be a separate download. And the reason they did that was uh, the community built Angular UI Router, which was uh, kind of an enhanced version. With ng-route, you're only allowed to have one view on the page at the time. So you'd have to do a lot more work to rearrange content, or you'd have to use ng-include to include other parts of the page. So if you wanted to have a navigation menu, as well as content that was changing. Um, so what we're going to look at right now is switching from the ng-route over to the Angular UI router. Uh, as you can see in the uh, page, in Canvas, we've got uh, UI view and NG view. These are the two uh, directives that we would use. NG view goes with NG route. UI view belongs with the newer Angular UI router. So we can either use NPM or Bower to install Angular in our project, or if we want to just include the file, we can uh, link to this is the Content Delivery Network version of it. Or I've put a link here to the minified file that you can download and just include in your project. So whichever way works best for you, depending on the needs of your project. Um, other differences between this. So let's go and look at some of the code. This is uh, in the first zip file that uh, came with this first video. So we've got state provider, URL route provider. This is inside of our routing. So this is inside my routes.js file where I'm doing all my routing. Down at the bottom you can see I've put the old version that was with ng route. It required route provider. Here we're using state provider and URL route provider. Small difference in the name, but very important that you get that right. The URL route provider deals with the other otherwise condition. So if the path in the browser isn't exactly matched to one of these states, this is the one that it's going to be. So you can see I've used slash app as my home one. That's my home state. Uh, with the ng route, we're dealing with route provider dot when. And this is each of the URLs. We're dealing with an entire URL here. States, you're dealing with named conditions. So this is a, the home state, the detail state. Uh, one of the advantages with uh, Angular UI Router is that we can actually create nested conditions or we can have named views. Because we're allowed to have multiple views on the page, we can name them and target them that way. So we're creating states, not necessarily URLs that we're targeting. Uh, this is a basic example, just kind of replicating what we did with ng route here. So I've got my template URL pointing to the main.html. I've got a details.html. My details is passing along a parameter here called item ID. Now with ng route, this was a route param. In this case, this is going to be a state param. Different name, but very similar. So what would this look like in the HTML to target these things? Well, there's two different ways of doing it. Uh, probably the most common is the UI state ref, UI s ref, and that's where you put in the name. So this name matches to this name, and then in other links, I'm pointing to the details with that number. So I could use href pound sign slash detail seven, the same way we did with ng route, or we can put in the name of the state, and then inside brackets, we put in a JSON object saying here's the name of the property item ID and here's the value so that's what we're doing in here if we look inside the main.html file I've got both versions listed here the uncommented one uses UI sref there's details there's the name of my parameter and then this item.id item is coming from my ng repeat and inside there there's a property called ID so I'm just looping through and writing those. And here we have the same example as before, except this one is running, as you can see by the title. I 
changed it just slightly to use Angular UI Router instead of ng-route. And that's about it.